Hey everyone, it's Kara, your favorite Pescovini vegan. I am here today for our Meatless Monday recipe. Today I am making a shipwreck dinner. I found this recipe on the All Recipes Dinner Spinner app, and you could do a lot of varieties of it if you wanted to do an Italian version or a Mexican version. I'm just doing the version it told me to do. <laughs> of course, with a few modifications. So it's gonna be gluten-free and meatless for Meatless Monday. So the meat we are using today for our shipwreck is Beyond Beef Beefy Crumbles. Then it calls for a package of a macaroni and cheese, seven and a half ounce macaroni and cheese. So I used two of these boxes, obviously other than the bacon, I left that out because um, this is what I have for vegan mac and cheese and gluten free. So I used the noodles and the cheese pouches out of two of these boxes. So that's in here. And then it calls for a cup of oat milk. I'm doubling, so I use two cups. Well, not dairy milk. And then it says a can of tomatoes. So I used a jar of canned tomatoes from Mima from her garden. And then it also said to put some Rotel in there because that gives it a more spicy and unique flavor. So I used one can of Rotel as well, original. And then later, we're going to use some cheese and some seasoned salt, but not yet. Then frozen peas and frozen corn. I don't have peas, but there is pea protein in all of this vegan stuff, so that's same, close enough. <laughs> so I do have some frozen corn in here, also from Meemaw's Garden. So that's in there. We got our two pouches of mac and cheese, because I'm doubling the recipe. Two cans of tomatoes, one of which was Rotel. We got our bag of beefy Beyond Meat Crumbles. And then we've got two cups of milk because I doubled some stuff. So this is gonna come to a boil. It's just getting there, as you can see. And then once it reaches a boil, you're supposed to reduce the heat to medium low, cover it, and simmer for 12 minutes or until the pasta noodles are cooked through, until they're tender. So. Once that's done, I will come back on here and show you what we do next. All right, it's been 12 minutes on the dot. I had it on a level two low simmer here with the lid on. So now we add our seasoning, which is a teaspoon of seasoned salt. But I used two teaspoons since I doubled the recipe. And then it says take a cup of cheddar cheese and stir it in. So we're using the Daya cheddar style vegan treads and then you put another cup on top after you stir this all in. So, oh, and the noodles are perfectly done. And these are gluten-free noodles. So that 12 minutes was right on, no matter what kind of noodle you use. At least that was my experience. So we are going to stir this stuff in here, the seasoning and the cheddar cheese. And I put it on low now so that the noodles don't overcook. But we do need this cheese to melt. And then we will put the remaining cheese on top. Nummy, nummy. It smells really good. I think the Rotel was a good call. Whoever had that review in the All Recipes Dinner Spinner app, good call. All right, it's already melted. So then I'm going to put the rest of our Daya shreds on top. Yay. We'll let that melt on the top layer. And that is it, my friends. Shipwreck dinner, about 15 minutes total, start to finish. Not bad at all. So I recommend it. And I'll put a link to the recipe from the app in the description box below. Have a great rest of your Monday.